Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews. I'm going to give some semi-spoilers to the Bad Batch review. So, this show is decent. However, there are some major problems with it. You see, anybody who has watched Episode 3 of Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, knows that there's certain timing with events. And those events had a span of pretty much an hour or so before each event. The report of General Grievous fight engaging or Obi-Wan engaging Grievous on Utapau and Order 66 going down did not take five minutes apart. No, that did not happen. You see, folks, I remember in episode three, here's the sequence of events. Cody lets them know that I, he's engaged General Grievous. Then, Anakin brings the report to the Chancellor. Chancellor Palpatine then starts saying, or basically decides, time to seduce Anakin to the dark side. Anakin then takes what he knows to the Jedi Council. The Council has another freaking meeting to reveal what is going on. And then, the Council goes to arrest Palpatine. Palpatine resists, kills the Jedi, Anakin is also there and assists with the destruction of Mace Windu, and then Anakin is then anointed by Sidious to be Vader, and then Nightfall happens, but during Nightfall happening, execution of Order 66 goes down. So yes, here's the thing folks, you gotta wonder um, why did it take a span of five minutes in this show where they're literally talking to each other, tech relays the information, well, we just got, or from what I think, the Clone Wars is about to end, we just got a report that General Grievous says, or Obi-Wan Kenobi has engaged Grievous on Utapau. Then not five minutes later, boom. Execute Order 66. I'm sorry, that just, it doesn't happen that quick. That is a major writing error. And the reason why it is major writing error is because they didn't show that there was a lot of time going by. These characters were in close proximity, they were talking to each other, there was nothing to space in between the conversation, you know? So yes, it is a major writing error. Depa Balaba's character, yikes. As much as I like Depa Balaba from Legends, I'm sorry, she would not have been overtaken by the clones like that. She also knows Vapod, the same lightsaber combat techniques that Mace Windu knows. That's why in the book Shatterpoint, she actually managed to get up against Mace Windu and pretty much wreck his shit for a little bit. Because he didn't want to fight her, he was her, or she was his Padawan. But then, she ended up becoming a council member. And then, yeah, she fell to the dark side because of stuff that was going on in Shatterpoint. So then she had to be locked up. But in this, they basically just make her just another dumbass Jedi master who got overwhelmed by numbers of clone troopers. It was ridiculous. Ridiculous that Depa Balaba would basically fall to just like seven clone troopers. I'm sorry, folks. That is just ridiculous. As for the story of the Bad Batch, except for that whole thing in Caleb Doom, Freddie Prince Jr.'s character. Oh my god, I can't believe they actually put him in here. Um, He was Canis or Caius or whatever his name is in Rebels. The one that trains uh, the kid with the weird slingshot thingy at the beginning of Rebels. Um, yeah, he, that he's a Padawan in this, and he is let go by the Bad Batch. So it's like, oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me? Yikes. Interesting happenings with this new uh, character, Omega... How she is a or an enhanced clone, 
I'm wondering who is she a clone of? I mean, honestly, I really am wondering who that is, because... Please don't tell me it's an X-23 situation, where X-23 was a female clone of Wolverine, and please don't tell me that Omega is an enhanced female clone of Jango Fett, because I would love to know how the hell that is. I mean, this if it turns out that she is indeed a female clone of Jango Fett, well, that's an immediate... Or that's just a blatant ripoff from Marvel. It really is. But then again, Disney owns Marvel and Star Wars, so I guess they could get away with it. But for the most part, this show is entertaining from a showgoer standpoint. It's about a 9 to a 9.5. I enjoyed it if I turned my brain off, which you shouldn't really do with Star Wars. But objectively and subjectively... It's about an 8 out of 10. There's just wicked problems. And I really didn't like how they took a great character from the prequel lore and just shafted him because, or just because. It shows that David Filoni does not know anything about these characters. If he did, he would have known that Depa Balaba would have slaughtered those clones in a heartbeat. Anyway, folks, that is going to be my review. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What did you think of The Bad Batch? Did you like it? Did you not? What was your thoughts? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below, folks. This has been Orange Hat Reviews. Stay humble.